Hello, Yakri here with a rant video. Something that may or may not become a theme in my videos going forward. We'll see. Uh, this time I'm bitching about Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. And I only played the beginning of this game, but it pissed me off in a big way. It's something that developers just need to fucking stop doing, in my opinion. Just objectively fucking stupid and unnecessary douchebag design. And what they've done in the beginning of this game is that they make you sit through this intro. That's cool the first time, you know, but you know, it's, it's the same every time. Uh, so sitting through it twice, not that interesting. Three or four times, pretty boring. And you have to sit through the intro and then in fact interact with the game a bit to progress this very linear intro, which there's not actually any interaction with. You just have to click a lot to progress it in order to get to character creation. You even have to go through a interesting uh, conversation, you know, tree to get through to character creation. And if you uh, choose certain conversation options, you bring it back to the main menu. Great, awesome, love that. Sarcasm, if that wasn't obvious. And uh, if you get to character creation and you, you know, decide you you make a character and you're done with it, well, you're gonna have to go through this introduction again and sit through this boring bullshit again to create your character. So here's the other thing: you can't save during this process. You have to go through that, like a little waiting period, and uh, then you get to create your character, and maybe, I haven't gotten past it yet, but maybe you get to save after that. I'm gonna guess no. My, my money's on no. I'll put a comment in the description when whether or not you actually got to save after this. So, this is fucking bullshit, and it needs to not fucking happen in games at all. There is no good reason for it, especially in games where there is extensive character customization. This could have been at the main menu. The create new game, choose difficulty options, boom, character creator. Why the fuck not? There is, uh, uh, even then, even then. All right, so let's say we have that, and then you get into the game, and then boom, auto saved, right? None of this shit where if you quit out at that point, your start is deleted, and you have to repick the options you want for the difficulty of the game, and load back in, and watch the intro video again. No, just boom, load into the, the point in this little like intro uh, playthrough area that you're at. Okay, so. It's just two two things, and they're so minor, but they really piss me off because of how unnecessary they are. Not being able to save at the beginning of the game until you've gotten through some arbitrary tutorial introductory fucking bullshit phase, and not having character creation for a game with in-depth character creation at the start of the game before the game actually starts. Fucking irritating as shit. Because if I want to create multiple characters, which I do, I like trying out different class combinations, I'm not going to really get to look at everything related to these classes until after I've gotten out of this character creator and maybe a little bit farther into the game. So if you like doing that kind of thing, you're going to have to sit through that two times, three times, four times, I don't know, a lot of times until you've tried every character permutation that you want and you settle on one that you want to get into the game with. Now, it not only is this sort of style... Uh, not very compatible with getting into like quickly trying out a, a character build that you want to start the game with, uh, but it's very incompatible with just getting into the game and having fun. Uh, if I could create a bunch of characters and, and play through like the first three seconds of the game with them from the main menu, that would just save me like I don't know ten minutes of my life. Ten minutes of my life, and it's that's not a lot, right? It's like it's a minor inconvenience, like stubbing your toe. But just like stubbing your toe, it fucking pisses me off. Because it's a minor, in this case, it's a, in particular, it's a minor inconvenience created by the choices of the developers, and the game doesn't gain anything by having the character creation, you know, rolled into this like first conversation with an in-game character you have, and it doesn't gain anything by not having uh, the option to save uh, when you're walking through the intro. Like maybe I get to the end of the intro to the first conversation right before the character creator, and I want to save there because I don't know, I want to go to the bathroom, leave for work, whatever. I just wanted to see the intro. Well, you can't do that. You're going to have to either leave your computer running, or if it's not an option for you for whatever reason, you know, or you just don't want to, you're going to have to play through the little intro section again. So, you know, unskippable tutorials themselves really piss me off, but this sort of like unskippable intro where you can't save and you don't have your character creation yet, uh, it's just fucking douchey. And there's no reason for it to be like that. There's not really some artistic gain from this. It's just irritating to your users, and it's trivially easy to rearrange things to not have this happen uh, for the developers. Like, it's not like it's some extra effort to have character creation screen off of the main menu. It's not some extra effort to them to prevent, sa to allow saving this area. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's extra effort to prevent saving 
uh, at the beginning of the game. <sighs> so this, this shit needs to stop. Why is why is this shit in any fucking games at all? Why do we have to put up with this ever? It's just the, the kind of thing that's just totally gratuitous, unnecessary, and serves only to be irritating. That's why it pisses me off so much. And I real also I expected better from these developers, so also that pisses me off. Um, there's one other thing I want to bitch about, which is that the, the user interface for the character creator is poorly designed. Uh, maybe not in an obvious way initially. So I've got it up in the background here, I've been using it as a nice little backdrop. So uh, take a look at uh, this. So see, I can't click on any of these panels, right? If I want to progress, I have to actually click next and go through the character creator and actually go through and I can't even look I can't even like skip picking my abilities right so I have to actually choose abilities I have to go through the whole process I have to assign attributes I have to go pick the culture weapon proficiency and see at the end here customization now, I don't actually recall if there's going to be like significant character facial customization or not um, from the previous Pillars of Eternity game I think there I think there is but let's say I get to customization I don't I don't like how I can make this character look I mean I really don't like the default look for these pale elves but maybe I can customize them to look a way I like but maybe I can't. If I can't, then I want to go back here all the way to the beginning, and I can't skip back. I have to go previous, 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 previous. All right, uh, choose sex. All right, uh, race. Here we go. And now I can choose a new racial option. It's a fucking pain in the ass. What if I, I go back and I, I try? I want to try godlike, nature godlike. All right, go to customization. Don't like the customization options. All the way back to race. All right, I want to try human. Uh, don't like the customization options. All the way back to race. All right, I finally I like the Orleans. I guess I, I actually hate the Orleans. Fuck those guys. I like dwarves. All right, I'm gonna be a dwarf. <sighs> well, maybe I want to be a different class now. All right, gotta repick all that shit. So. <laughs> Why the fuck can't we just go to customization? Why isn't customization next to race? Uh, I assume there's some sort of link between customization and your class, but in fact, uh, it's probably some sort of class gear thing. They could have also had that separated out into two separate sections. They could have just let you skip back and forth between them and then prompted you to, like, you know, reevaluate your customization with your rate, with your class choice. It's badly designed. That's, that's all there is to it. If it was well designed, I would actually be able to mess with these things together instead of having to go back and forth, back and forth, clicking up and down. And it fucking pisses me off because this is, it seems like such an obvious basic thing to have in your character creator, the ability to customize uh, your race before doing everything else related to your character in a character, in a character creation process that is this complicated. <sighs> Or at least, for at least to have it be like kind of the customization be kind of separate. So this is this is maybe it's my imagination, but this has kind of been you know it's not just that I'm pissed off at these developers and this game, but it, it's been a, seems to be a growing trend that this sort of thing is neglected. Developers are like, oh, it'd be cool to do this like intro thing in this way, and they just totally don't even consider the fact that it could be irritating, it could be inconvenient to people, um, and that you know, viewing a linear intro that's static every time could get annoying after like five playthroughs, you know, um, which could easily be what you do on your first day because you want to try out five different character designs. Okay, so <laughs> there's still doesn't even occur to them. They don't really uh, design around this. And there's just so many cases where developers seem to choose like kind of cool visuals or something that they feel is cool over actually making like a pleasant user experience, especially at the start of their game, or especially in their interface, right? And it could, like I said, could be my imagination, but I feel like there's a trend towards this kind of annoying bullshit or just thoughtless crap um, in, in, in UX design in games. Uh, it's not as bad probably in single player games, like I've got some bad memories from trying to fucking play For Honored. Uh, For Honored? For Honored. For Honor. Ubisoft games in general. Ubisoft. Terrible networking designers, terrible UI designers. Like whoever does their UI, their UI team should be fired and replaced by new people. Like they're that bad. They should work under someone who's a little bit better at designing UI and learn from them and maybe give it a second try. Frankly, um, it's kind of a rude thing to say, but honestly, the 400 had like a fucking thing where even on PC you had to like click and hold to confirm like almost any dialogue option. Uh, I mean, like, like, if you want to search for a game or, like, choose character options when you're... Eh, it's fucking ridiculous. So, this video went on a little bit longer than I intended to, but my point is, is that UX design is kind of important, and it's, it's not... It, UI is a pain in the ass. It's true. But it's not that hard to just fulfill some 
basic functionality in this shit and give characters these sort of intense customization options up front and allow saving at the beginning of fucking games. This whole like giant tutorial section that could be like, you know, uh, I think Grand Theft Auto 5 is one of the worst I've ever seen where it's like 20 minutes long or like 40 minutes long. You can't save, you can't skip it. You're just fucked if you get into it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that sort of thing, there's no place in any game. Ever! There's no reason for it! So fucking stop it, guys! Come on! <sighs> okay, so, yeah, bit bit off from my usual content. You know, let me know if you liked it or didn't like it, or if you think this is just kind of whiny and annoying, whatever. Or possibly, you know, let me know uh, in the comments what kind of things or trends in gaming kind of piss you off and you wish just didn't ever fucking happen. Uh, anyway, if you like this content, or, you know, actually, most of my content's pretty different, so maybe, maybe don't subscribe if you like this content, but, you know, if you want to see more stuff vaguely like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you all for watching Yakri out.